how's everybody doing on their Guanting staff forum? The disadvantage of teaching online is that I don't have interaction with the actual students and see how they're progressing. So I'm kind of doing this blind. So any kind of feedback that you give, any kind of problems that you have with uh, either the instruction or the moves uh, as I'm teaching them is uh, appreciated because then I can actually uh, deal with you on a personal basis. Um, today is an important day because we're going to learn the last move in the second section, which would be the linking to the repeat for, uh, section. Uh, just like in the Guanping uh, Tai Chi form, you get to a certain point, like in the Tai Chi uh, form, you get the golden cut stands on one leg and then we post monkey and then you have a whole repeat section. And the similarity to that is in the staff form that after we do this one form, there'll be a repeat section. But for now, what I want to do is teach this one linking move and have you concentrate on that. Um, because remember that um, the Dalu, the fixed form, is just uh, a form of uh, many movements and each, we should concentrate on each of the indi individual movements, not the form entirely. Uh, there's always a tendency for the student as they're learning a new form to want to get through the whole form and then, like I said, present in another video. When you get to the end of the form is actually when you kind of actually begin to learn the form because you let go of that desire to learn the next move and the next move, and then you can uh, just concentrate on the move at hand. So for today, um, I'm going to just do a short presentation of what the form should look like to this point, and then we'll work on this one move, the linking move, and then I want you to just work only to that point. I don't want you to do the repeat section or anything. Just work uh, mostly on that linking move to so get that down, and then we can go back in the next video I'll do a presentation on the whole form, including the linking and the repeat. So what uh, we should be at at that point. So I'll do the form up to what we've learned. So this is uh, where we should end, and uh, I think what we'll do is to take it from the hop and bounce that I did in the last video, uh, the little specific thing for the hop and bounce into the overhand, underhand, and then we'll take the move from there. So again, uh, I'm doing this presentation as I would 12 o'clock, and 9 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and 6 o'clock, because when we get to this one move, the direction will be really important. Most of the set goes back between 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock. So we'll take it from the hop and bounce from here, here, hop into the overhead, and here. So one thing I want to point out is the, I like to call this kind of like the chicken wing position in uh we learn it basically in the staff movement that this is like a stop so you can control where the staff hits and uh change direction easily so this uh position here again in another video i'll point out how close that was to a uh, brush knee twist step and uh toy show pushing the hands but here in this position here we're in a horizontal strike it comes 90 degrees to your shoulder. And then in that overhead after the hop, so over the overhead of the hop, 
this move comes kind of from a low uppercut, comes to stop there as well. And so the reason why I'm uh, presenting that is in this uh, next move that we do, you'd be doing kind of a diagonal uppercut and it stops in that position as well for the first two strikes like that. Okay, so let's take it from the direction that we're going in from the, the hop. So we're going to end up here. So in the uh, direction of the form, we're going to be stepping out to the six o'clock direction and striking to about the seven o'clock direction. And we come back in on the same line. And now we're going to strike to the 11 o'clock position. So I'll, I'll do it uh, facing you too, so you can see the move better. But okay, so from the hop. we're in this position here. Step out to the left on a straight. So you have this line here that looks like this. And then the strike you look like that. So you're going to step out <clears throat> and the strike to 7 o'clock. Then you want to come back in, step on that straight line, and then back to diagonal and doing uppercut to the stop, chicken wing stop, okay? So also you can do this uh, back and forth practice. I'll do that when we're facing here. So again, from the hop, and then step to the left, uppercut, step to the right, uppercut. So you take that facing forward. So we're going to be in this position after we've done the overhead underhand. So you're going to step to the left. So we're going to think of it as a, a straight line. And we're going to step to the left first and then be on the diagonal. Then we're going to come back in on this line and then we're going to come back on the diagonal. Come back in, diagonal, on the straight line, diagonal. And so we'll be able to practice this move back and forth so you can get the uh, feeling of it. So again, from here, here. Okay, step to the left, uppercut. Come back in, step to the right, uppercut. Remember, do your slide. So you're going to do your slide. So as you do your step here, and you do the step out, is when you can do the slide. Step, slide, diagonal. Step, slide, diagonal. As I said before, when you're doing the sliding, it becomes much more subconscious. I don't really think about it too much, but in order to, for you to remember to do the slide. So we're just going to do this back and forth so you get the feeling of it. Step. Step. You notice that my foot comes right as I'm finishing this, the swing. Okay, so again, from the overhead, underneath, so these are like, the, you know, the staff is going straight in line. Overhead, underhand, then step to the left, then the di diagonal and uppercut. Step to the right, diagonal, uppercut. One more time. The hop 
overhand, underhand, then step to the left, uppercut, step to the right, uppercut. So these are stops on the shoulder like the chicken wing. So we'll go back to the direction that we're working in. We do the hop from the hop. Overhead, straight over the head, bounce, pop, and then underhand. So from here, we're going to go to the left, uppercut, come back in, step to the right, uppercut. Okay, so from here, the next move in this uh, is just going to be uh, four in the series, left, right, and then we're going to do this block. The block is a circular block behind you as you pivot. So from here, you don't have to step or anything. You can just turn and pivot, but make sure your block is directed down as if somebody's striking towards your uh, feet. <clears throat> so again, from here, here, circular block, and then from here, we're going to go on a diagonal strike. It's going to be uh, at five o'clock, and from here. So the difference on this uh, one diagonal strike to the five o'clock position is that it's down here, much like that like that we did like that, except that you're in a more upright position. So it's like the other two blocks, except that instead of coming to the chicken wing, you're going to come up to open, or to open position. So uh, again, we'll do it in the direction that we're going in from the hop, overhead, Bounce, overhead, underhand. Okay, from here, step to the left. Uppercut to the shoulder. Then do a circular block. And then step on to five o'clock. And it's an open uppercut. Okay, again, from this position here. Okay, step to the left, uppercut, step to the right, uppercut, circular block, open, uppercut. Okay, one more time. Two. Step to the left, uppercut, to the shoulder, right to the uppercut. Circular block and uppercut with an open position. And then one more, you can just horizontal strike. So take that all at one time. I'm going to do the pop, bounce, overhead. Underhand, step to the left, uppercut, to the shoulder, step to the right, uppercut, to the shoulder, circular block, open uppercut, and step to the left, horizontal strike. Okay, one more time. I mean, hope you can get it with these. From the hop, overhead, bounce, Step forward, step to the left, step to the right, turn crescent block, strike to five o'clock position with open uppercut. And then step to the left, to the three o'clock, and horizontal strike. So I think uh, if you practice this one linking move, the series of uppercuts, so 
from here, it would look like this. I think that if you practice just uh, left, right, left, right, left, right, back and forth, uh, you get a better sense of it. And then you do the turn and then the third uppercut. So again, if you have any questions uh, about specific things in this uh, one particular move, be sure to leave them in the comments. I always answer the comments if there's any kind of problem. So it's a way for you to directly communicate with me. Uh, the best we could do in a virtual world. Thank you.